Alright, welcome back guys. We're back in the Temple of Dropless with full life and let's follow this bastard Octodrop who stole our element. Oh no! I hate this boss fight. Now it starts off. You need to obviously chuck this back at him. Usually he doesn't stay conveniently in one spot like this. And then he'll somehow freeze himself and change the floor in ice. And what you have to do is, why did my lantern turn off? Burn his tail so he melts. And this will cause him great pain and he'll start rumbling across the room and it really pisses him off. So just avoid the rocks. Now he's squealing. Squealing like a pig. And that will turn everything back. And basically it's just a lather, rinse, repeat. You gotta be careful because occasionally he will try to suck you in like that, so. As far as I got that shot in. Alright, that's too close. Yeah, this bastard fucking hurts. Don't trap me in the fucking corner. Yes, follow me. Yeah, direct hit. Nice. Aw, oh, damn. You can't escape it, I'm always just too close. Wow, he's so much easier in this version. Usually in in my version, which is the US version, he moves too he spins around back and forth too fast, and I have a lot of difficulty hitting his tail and setting it on fire. So this is man, I'm trying to concentrate here. That's why the commentary sucks, but this is easier this is a much easier time than I usually have. And I was totally not paying attention there. And then he'll, in this last stage, he'll do this and he'll darken the room up. And he'll start ramming walls randomly. Because he's a Mr. Pissy Pants over here. You're not gonna take my element. Who the fuck are you? Throw a rock at me! So you always want to give yourself enough distance, so if he does try to suck you in, you can easily walk away from it. I think LD does when it's dark, just ram across the room. Oh! Didn't know he stopped yet. Yeah, it does like a full heart of damage. Stop pulling this bullshit! You're just delaying the inevitable, man. And I totally did not mean to run into his butt there. Now, come over here and throw a fucking rock at me, okay? Oh! be going on this long. You need to throw rocks at me at a favorable angle so I can chuck them in your face. So like I said, you don't want to be too close. Because you want plenty of room when he starts doing that. No, you're supposed to fucking freeze. set you on fire anyway. Did you just ass rape the wall? No, face over here.
turn. No, you weren't supposed to do that, asshole. This is what I, I hate this fight. This is probably my most hated boss fight in the entire game because it just takes... Well, actually, that, between this and the, that stupid choo-choo, I mean, this is one reason why this is my least favorite dungeon in the game. Now, now, Dungeon 5, I hate... Thank you! See, that's all it fucking took. I hate the dungeon, it, the, the, the first, like, two-thirds of the dungeon itself suck, and I hate it. But the last half of the dungeon and the boss make up for it. But this, th there isn't a redeeming factor. It's like the mini-boss and the boss are pain giant pains in the asses because you need to wait for the right move. You can't just tack them all up. Friggin' sucks. We're finally done with this. So now we can get the shit out of here. We can come back in for the treasures sometime later. What? Gustav? Yes, we get to go there next. But first, we get to make a pit stop at Hyrule Castle. So let's go to town, and there's one thing, I don't know if we can do it yet. See, now the schoolhouse is open. Yeah, I've been skipping because I'm off to save the world. students. Oh, and he wants to fuse. And wow, I actually have the right kinstone. Hi, Eric. What do you wish for? North Hyrule Field, isn't it? Yeah, I've got like a ton of things to collect. Like, there's a ton of stuff in the Minish Woods. Hi, teacher bitch. You want to fuse? No, you don't. Kids want to fuse? No. But we can go up here as a minish, so let's do that. Yeah, one, one or two of these teachers may want to fuse, but they're fickle use fickle fusers, so they may or may not want to trade. Oh, that's right, you actually need a fusion of some sort to get rid of that. Or something. Remember a while back, we got a um, fusion that made that appear. Now we can't get this yet because number one, we haven't fused our element with our sort of the third element yet. But number two, we don't have all four elements yet. So right now, we can't do anything about that. Now let's get that crap out of here. I don't want to go back to school. Why isn't Link in school anyway? Is he on, like, a pardon? Because, you know, King of Hyrule sent him on a mission and all that crap. Hi, children. Okay, actually, I want to talk to the friggin' shopkeeper. So now we can do this little side quest thingy. So we want to go in town, turn into a... Get on the pot! And turn into a mash. Wanna go out this way? Hi! No, we do wanna go up here, don't we? We need to go across to the, uh... Yeah. There we go. I don't know, I don't wanna talk to you minutes right now. Yeah, I know you're having a little meeting, I won't keep you. beneficial to come over here. Oh. Oh. 
there we go. Yay, and we can go feed his doggy in the little house. And we can get the bottle! And he's in that little house in Lake Hylia. These pants are really rinky-dink if they, you know, they're just at the bottom of the pot. You can't otherwise see them. God damn it. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here fast enough. You know, I think I'm gonna need to get over here and do some cleaning. Yeah, the shopkeeper's probably a crappy man anyway. They probably like to mingle in the in the bar or whatever the hell this is. Well, that's all for now. Uh, see you later, guys. <laughs>